Hi everyone, welcome back to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith and this is... Luke Smith. <laughs> That's right. And we're here to play... Boss Monster. That's right. And I asked you guys for help. I needed to choose a room to build in my dungeon. Luke, you've got no rooms face down here. Why is that? I don't want to build anything. He's happy with his dungeon. I'm not. My dungeon is wimpy. So thankfully I got a suggestion from Kitsumi Zeta that got the most votes. So why don't we go right to the table and see what it is we're going to be building. So the room that we're building is the torture chamber. Ooh. And Kitsumi didn't just propose the room, there was also an explanation provided. So first of all, this one has a treasure icon. That means now I have the majority in those bags of gold, which means the thief will come to my dungeon. It also has an ability that says, destroy this room. Choose an opponent. That opponent discards a random room card. Well, destroy room effects are great because when I do that, my recycling center will activate and that will allow me to draw two room cards. So I'm very happy with that selection. Luke, you had nothing to build, right? Yeah. So now we can move into the luring phase. So this thief will get lured first and sure enough, it is going to go to my dungeon because I have the most bags of gold. I also have the most holy relic symbols, so the cleric is going to come to my dungeon as well. Not as excited about that because it has a health of six and my dungeon still isn't quite dangerous enough to deal with that. And Luke, you definitely have the most swords here. So the yeah. fighter is certainly coming to your dungeon. Again, because I have the most experience points, my dungeon will be processed first. The thief enters this room, takes one damage, and then takes an additional three damage here. That's four. That's enough to defeat the thief. And finally, I get my first soul in my dungeon. Luke, you and I are tied. Yay. He doesn't seem as happy about it as I am. Well, next, the cleric. This is going to be a problem because at most, I can do five damage, unless I'm willing to use the boulder ramp. And I think I'm gonna do that. This means the cleric is going to take one damage here, then another three here, and then finally a total of five damage will have been received by the time the cleric gets to this room. That's not enough. So what I'm gonna do is trigger the destroy another room ability here. I'm gonna destroy the torture chamber. I definitely don't want to destroy the recycling center. I like that one too much. So this newly built room is now going away, but that means I can do an additional five damage. That's going to be enough to defeat the cleric and I will collect my second soul. Because a room was destroyed, that also means the recycling center is going to get triggered and now I get to draw two room cards. That is a very nice benefit. Well, old Bowden the Pantless Luke is ready to enter your dungeon. What's he going to find? Well, here he's going to take one damage, here two, but because of the goblin armory, this is actually three. That's right. That's enough to defeat him, right? Yeah. And the nice thing about defeating him here in the Bloodsucker Hive is what? When a hero dies here, I get to draw a spell card. That's right. So the fighter is now going to give you another soul. So here we are, tied up once again. It's time to bring out some new heroes into the town. We have another thief. This one has eight health. No problem. And a cleric. This one has four health. Now remember, even though I lured the thief in before, that's because I had three bags of gold. Well, I destroyed the room that gave me that extra bag. So as it stands right now, we're both we're tied. tied up. Yeah, that's right. Although I will take the cleric. We also get to draw a new room card. So we'll each take one of those. And now we need to plan out what it is we're gonna build. So join us at the table and we'll show you what we decided on. Well, as usual, we start with me. I've picked a room I think is gonna work pretty nicely. This is the Neanderthal Cave. It's gonna give me an additional three damage that I can do to heroes entering my dungeon. The text here just says you can't build an advanced room on top of this cave. Makes sense, they're Neanderthals, they can't be advanced. Remember though, you can always put an ordinary room on top of any room. This time, Luke has chosen a room to build in his dungeon. So which one is it, Luke? Well, actually, I'd like to play a spell. That's generally not a good thing, for me anyway. So what's this one going to do? Zombie attack. Okay. When I play this card, I take one of your dead heroes. Yes. Put it in front of your dungeon. Right, okay, And I know. it has plus two yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, I remember this now. So Luke, would you rather have my six health cleric or I think it was a four health thief? Six health cleric. I am not surprised. So we just need to remember that this cleric actually has eight health. So again, you've messed with what was otherwise going to be a pretty solid plan for me. I'm just gonna put the zombie attack card there as a reminder. Now, would you like to reveal the room that you're building? Why not? Okay, so what is it? 
I have built the dark altar. Now this one says that you can destroy the room and then choose a card from the discard pile and add it into your hand. Well now it's time to lure the heroes to our dungeons. The thief wants gold bags. We both have two. No. No. <laughs> that's, that's another great reason yep. to cover that one up. Oh my goodness. So now I have the two gold bags mm -hmm. and this eight health thief is coming to my dungeon. <laughs> oh, it just gets worse. Okay, well we have a cleric here and look at this dark altar. This, is, this was a perfect card for you to play because this one gives you more holy relics than me, yeah. which means that the cleric's coming to mm -hmm. your dungeon. Okay, so things are going from bad to worse for me, but I think I can still make it out of this one without losing any more health. So this cleric is gonna take three damage here, another three here, that's six, and another one damage is seven. Not enough to defeat it. So I'm gonna to have to use this ability and destroy another room. So I will destroy the Neanderthal cave as soon as the cleric gets to this room. That will give me another five damage. This does a couple of things for me. Yes, it does defeat this cleric that I defeated before, but then it came back as a zombie. And it also allows me to draw two rooms because that's the effect of the recycling center. So that should help me out later on. Now the thief comes marching through also with eight health. It takes three damage here. It'd be a fourth damage in this room. That's not enough. So if I don't want to take a third wound, I'm going to have to blow up my recycling center. And I don't really want to take another wound, to be honest, so that's what I'm going to do. So the recycling center is destroyed. Now, remember, this effect says when another room in the dungeon is destroyed, so I will not get the benefit on the recycling center when I destroy the recycling center. But as I said, I get the thief's soul. So that's three points for me. Now my dungeon is really, really sad, but I am technically in the lead. So the cleric that should have been mine is marching through your dungeon now, Luke. And I think we're going to see a repeat of last time, aren't yeah. we? One damage there, two damage there, but because of the goblin armory, yes. another damage, that's four. Yes, it defeats the cleric. And the cleric died in that bloodsucker hive again, which means you get another spell. spell card. And we've seen just how deadly those spells can be. So this is concerning. Well, once again, we're tied, but it doesn't feel like we're tied. Every time we do one of these rounds, I feel like I'm losing things and you're just sort of skating through. Thankfully, I've had that boulder ramp, though. That has saved me Yeah. in a couple of different places. And destroyed your dungeon. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of saving me and ruining me at the same time. Time to bring us some more heroes, right? All right, let's see what we have here. We have the da -da -da, drum roll mage. It's a mage with eight health. Oh, I can take on him. <laughs> yeah, I know you can. And we have a fighter, this time with eight health. And it'll go to me, probably. <laughs> we'll see about that. First, though, we each get another room. So we'll draw rooms, and now we'll have to decide what it is we're going to play. So join us at the table, and let's see what it's going to be. I'm almost embarrassed to be revealing this room, because I think people watching are going to feel like, what? A one damage room? Why are you building that? Your dungeon is so pathetic already. Well, it is, but I think if you saw it was in my hand, you might agree. The main reason I chose the monstrous monument is, first of all, it gives me a sword. I'd like to try to catch up to Luke on some of these sword symbols. It also gives me another holy relic. But the main thing is it says, when you build this room, choose one monster room from the discard pile and put it in your hand. Well, the recycling center was helpful with its three damage, but I think I'm going to go down here and find that Neanderthal cave again, because that also does three damage and it has a sword. I can't build it this turn though. It has to go into my hand. But now Luke can build. What's it going to be? I will be building the zombie prison. You love these zombies. Okay, yep. so what does this one do? When I destroy this room, yes. I take one of your heroes from there, put it to the start. Oh my goodness. And then you have to deal with it again. <laughs> and so I'll destroy this room right now. And I'll take, because there's a thief in here, let's hope it's this one. Oh, it is. <laughs> yes, this and is the thief. put it there. With eight health. Okay, not really what I wanted to face. Now, I know some people like to root for Luke, but I have to be getting at least some sympathy from the viewers at this point. Time for us to lure some of these heroes. 
the mage is going to come to loose dungeon. You have three. Yeah, three spell books there. And the fighter. Three. Yes, it's coming to Luke as well. Now I've got to process this thief through my dungeon. Thankfully, I have that boulder ramp, the one room that is making my dungeon just slightly effective. One damage will happen here, two damage here, and then three. I need five more damage. I'll get that by destroying a room. The question is, which one do I want to get rid of here? I currently have a majority in these gold sacks. I'd probably like to keep that. So I guess I'll wreck the monstrous monument. That means the thief has been defeated and I will get another point. So it's not a total loss. Luke, you have a mage that's gonna come through your dungeon. One damage, yes. plus two, plus one. Yes. That makes four, yes. and then five, yes. six, hmm. seven, eight. Yes, the old story. Another hero defeated in Luke's dungeon. That's four points you have. The fighter, we don't need to count that up again. We know what's going to happen. It's going to die in the dark altar. A ah, total of five points for Luke. Well, Luke, sometimes when we play these games, there's a twist ending, right? You think one thing's gonna happen and then something changes it up. In this case, I feel pretty confident that the end is pretty clear. <laughs> yes, at the end is pretty clear. I can see a winner here potentially, but you never know. Before we end this video, let's reveal the next heroes. So we have the last of the ordinary heroes, and it is, it's another thief with six health. And then we have the first of the epic heroes, and it is Whoa. another thief, but this time it has 13 health. Now, which one of us has the most gold bags? Let me calculate this. You. <laughs> yeah, I do. So I'm gonna probably, unless something changes, draw in both of these heroes. Let me just take a little math thing. If okay. this guy gets through your dungeon, yes. you'll have three gone. Three wounds, yes. And the epic heroes deal two wounds when it goes through. Right, so if that one goes through as well. Yeah. Five wounds. You're dead. Five wounds and the game so is you over. You have to at least stop one. Yes, I have to de defeat at least one. I have that boulder ramp. You know how effective that strategy has been. So I feel like I can probably you know, eliminate one of these threats at the very least, but the other one will probably get through, depending on what Luke plays and depending on what rooms we get. Speaking of which, we each get to draw a room and we're gonna leave things here. Once again, I'm gonna show you what's in my hand. This is a pivotal moment. Tell me in the comments which room you think I should build next. And I think it's a great idea. Explain why you're proposing that room. It gives other viewers a chance to see what it is you're thinking and why. If you like what someone proposes, give them a thumbs up. If you don't, Pick your own suggestion, put that on, maybe you'll get more votes. Whichever one gets the most votes, that's what we'll come back and do. But until the next episode, thanks, thanks for watching. watching.